So today I'm going to be taking you through the E5 error code on our strong boilers. It's the most common error code that we see on our boilers and I'm going to be explaining why it happens. The E5 error code will trigger when the boiler recognises that the system flow is below 3 litres per minute. Things that can contribute to this are things like air in the system, sediment, debris, valves that are slightly shut. Uh, we need to ensure that we've always got a flow rate of 3 litres a, a minute or above within the heating system, otherwise we see this E5 error code. I'm going to reset this error code and then we're going to demonstrate on this heating system how and why it would trigger. So the E5 error code is triggered at the moment. I'm simply going to press and hold the power button until the boiler beeps and this E5 error code clears. The boiler will restart in its standby mode, so I would simply turn the boiler back on and the heating should try and heat up. What I'm going to do now is I've got some isolation valves behind me at the moment. My system flow on this flow meter is telling me that I've got a system flow of nine liters a minute at the moment. So using these valves, I can restrict that flow and demonstrate that the E5 would trigger once I drop this below three liters a minute. So I now restrict these isolation valves. So I have a flow rate of below three liters a minute. So that flow rate suddenly dropped below three liters per minute. Now the pump has stopped. What happens now is the pump will turn on and off again on three occasions until the E5 error code appears. It does this in an attempt to clear any blockages or sediment or debris. So now the pump will cycle on and off and eventually we should see that E5 error code. So now the E5 error code has triggered because the system flow was still poor. So just to quickly recap, things that can cause this E5 error code are things such as air in the system, sediment, debris, blocked filters, anything that will cause a major restriction on your system that results in the flow rate of the system being below 3 litres per minute.